One of the easiest ways to improve your trade quality, have a higher win rate and in general find much better trades is to only trade at the best key levels. In this video I'll show you the 9 best levels, the 9 best tools and where to find the best price reactions step by step. I've listed the 9 best levels here at the bottom right just as a reminder and then we will go through a few different charts and we'll mark them up with you, walk you through my thought processes and show you exactly how to make sense of charts. So they're not in any particular order, but what you want to find is daily key levels. So what we do is start on the 4 hour and the daily we zoom out a little bit and we look for the most important current support and resistance levels. We want to generally consider the central pivot point, mostly the weekly and the daily central pivot point. We want to of course take a look at the major round numbers. We have to be aware of supply and demand areas. Trend lines which are often defining the most important chart patterns. We want to take a look at weekly and monthly highs and lows. A lot of traders are referring to them and using them in their trading plans. We have to consider the 50, 100 and the 200 daily moving average, trend targets and also ATR exhaustion. So is an ongoing trend exhausted? Does it still have power to go? Does it have room to go? And is a reversal or a continuation more likely? So now I'll walk you through a few different charts and we will just mark them up and you can use it in your own trading. We're going to take a look at Forex, maybe also indices. You can use it on crypto, on commodities and any other market. So here we are starting on a four hour time frame, and I have marked the 146 and the 145 round number here. This is the current chart of the Euro CAD. We can zoom out and what we see is that the 145 to 146 round number seems to be a very important level where the market in the past has shown major, major reactions. So this is a must on your, on your charts. Also, when we look at the trend that has been going on, you can see we have been in a very, very strong trending market. And in that case, what we want to do is make sure we want to analyze ATR exhaustion. So you want to see how far has the price gone? How far has the trend gone? And looking back at all of the trends on the EuroCAD, is this a trend that has more room to go? Is this a trend that is not average? And we don't see those trends often. And what we do for that is activate our exhaustion zones. This is an indicator that you can buy from Pattern Alpha, which is also one of our sites. I'm leaving the link in the video description. We're turning it on and what you see are those yellow exhaustion boxes. So last week you can see the market has reached its trend potential. And after hitting the last week trending box right at the 146, 145 round number area, the market has paused so far. So we have achieved our trend goal. And you can see in the past, the week before we achieved the trend goal and then the market didn't continue. Here we achieved the trend goal and continued a little bit further. And so it's very important to understand historic trends and have historic trends been stronger or weaker than what we are seeing currently. Another important thing that we can analyze are Fibonacci extensions. So for that we find ABC moves. Here is a clear A, B and C and then you'll see where is this is this happening at a fulfilled Fibonacci extension? Then it makes a reversal more likely. So we use our Fibonacci tool. What we can see is we have a very clear 50 retracement here. After we hit the 100, 50, we have a break and retest of the 100. Then our first Fibonacci target is always 161. And then the 200 round number falls right into the corridor that we marked here. So a lot of things are pointing towards this area being a major resistance. This is a very, very important finding, especially in the trend context. The trend has been going on for so long. So what you will usually see is that after a long trend, you probably see a lot of profit taking first, which could mean sideways movements, maybe a little bit of a flag. And then once the profit taking has been done, once the price has reached a more affordable levels when it's cheaper, then only it would make sense to look for continuations. Right now, I would not really recommend to look for longs right away. I would wait a little bit until the market has cooled off. Maybe we get a nice flag pattern and then look for continuations. Another thing that is very important to see is that we have the big round number, 140, 140, the, more, the biggest round number that we have in this case. Above it is 150 and here is 140. The more zeros typically, the more important the round number. Another important thing is that we can activate the pivot points. So we can turn on the weekly pivot point. And what you can see is a slowing down of trend. Usually in an uptrend, the market trades above the central pivot point. You can see it here. We never really reach the central pivot point, only during pullbacks. Now you can see we are trading around the pivot point. 
This can often be a sign of, as we can see now, the market slowing down. We have not seen a continuation yet. If the market breaks below the central pivot point, very often you will see retest. This will turn into resistance and then a continuation to the downside. This could maybe be the starting point for the flag that we could anticipate going forward. Now we really have to wait and see what is happening here at the weekly central pivot point. This is going to be a key, key factor. We can also look at the moving averages. You can see I activated the daily moving averages. You open the settings under time frame. You can choose the time frame. So we're pulling in a daily moving average. And then we have the 100, 250. Let's just activate them and see where are they. Probably not too close because we're in a trending market. And you can see all of the moving averages are down here. One thing that is quite interesting is that we have a cross in the moving averages. You can see the 50 period moving average has now crossed above the 200, which can be a trend change signal. You can see here in the past, the 200 was well above the 50, which is then a bearish trend signal. You can see this is where the moving average crossed to the bearish side, and then it signaled the downtrend. Previously, you can see when the moving averages crossed to the upside, the market was more or less, yeah, I would say maybe in the uptrend, but more in a distribution pattern. But if we go back, you can see we have here also a cross in a bearish market. So the crosses of long and short term moving averages are very, very important as well. So now we have a very good understanding of what is going on. Obviously, you can see where there's a strong trend. We hit a major resistance area. The trend has been exhausted, as we have seen by our exhaustion zones. What we could do now is, first of all, wait maybe for a pullback. Here's a very important level. The 142 and if you zoom out you can see this has been a major support resistance area it would make sense to see a pullback here but also it could be that we're going to see a pullback in 140 for a trading plan right now as a swing trader you probably would wait for a pullback as a day trader what you could do is go to the lower time frame look for patterns here here you can see we have here a support level to the downside remember here's also our uh, central pivot point so for day traders what you could be doing is wait for a break and retest underneath this area and see if we get the flag that would make a lot of sense in this trend context. Next is the S&P 500 and this is maybe one of the most beautiful charts that I've seen in a long, long time. So let's analyze what has been going on here. First of all, when we see the trend lines, they just stand out and work so perfectly. You can see this is the origin. This is also where the market topped out at 4,800. Then you can see we have two, three swing points. And then last week, you can see we hit the, the next time on the trend line. This is where we found major resistance. So this is one of the most important trend lines that the market has seen in a long, long time all year. When we zoom in, we can see we have round numbers here. We have the 4000 round number. I mentioned it in, I think, one of my last videos. Then here we have 3500, which corresponds with this recent dip that we have seen in October that led to the rally into the trend line. Here you can see we have a pattern level. So this is a support level that marks this pattern here. This is a triple tap kind of, you can see one tap, two tap, three tap. Then the next time we hit the high, we have pretty much a double top, not a fake out because we're not taking out the highs, but this is a major resistance level. Seeing this, when this formed would have been a major short signal because everything is coming together here. The round number, the trend line, the triple tap, and then you can see afterwards, we have huge selling. We have an exhaustion gap here on the way down. The market gaps lower with a lot of momentum. Then we broke the support level. And now we are here in the downtrend. Let's see what we can find in this area. Where's the market gonna hit support and what does it mean for the current trend? First of all, let's turn on the monthly pivot. We are well below the monthly pivot. So this is a short signal. The weekly pivot for day traders or short term swing traders could be a very interesting tool to look for pullbacks. So what you will often see is the market pulling back into a pin pivot point, and that could then give you a short opportunity or a continuation in whatever trend context that you're finding it. We can turn on the daily moving averages. First, let's see where's the lowest, the 50 period daily moving average. And you can see we have just broken and retested it. 100 period is our pattern level. You can see here, this is a very, very major moving average for the S&P. Resistance turned into support, support, and then we broke it, which initiated the pattern breakout. 200 period moving average is up here, which also corresponds with the trend line. So you can see this is such an important way to have those higher time frame round number moving averages. 
you can see here it validates the trend line very great confluence and here as well the moving average is so close to the trend line really good confluence to have so what we can see is that there's not too much on the way down for support does it mean it's going to be easy and smooth riding probably not we can see we have a few support levels here on the way down we have a noise zone here so let me find the tool so here we have a cluster of support and resistance levels here we have a high here we have some lows you can see probably you can expect some rough sailing around here if we make it that far if you are not in a short trade probably you are much better off waiting for a pullback because the market has moved such a big distance already can we go and find a fibonacci sequence here it doesn't look like it because we don't have our typical abc move this is way too shallow to put a fibonacci on it what we could do is look for a short term fibonacci somewhere like here for a day trading trade for that we should go down to a lower time frame then we drop our fibonacci this is our end point here's our origin let me move the chart you can see we have a 61 retracement this is where the 50 period moving average is then you can see we have our 161 retracement target or extension target and a 200 extension target right at the zone that i marked so right now the market is establishing a short term pattern let me remove that and you can see on we are now on a 15 minute you can see we have kind of a support level down here this could be a head and shoulders you can see maybe we're moving the right shoulder now so the bears are probably waiting to get below this area for more shorting the bulls are probably waiting for the market to see what is going to happen here at the moving average which is a very very key level also probably a lot of traders will be waiting for sure to see can we get a retracement back oops sorry back to the central pivot point which for now corresponds to the 100 moving average from the daily chart so you can see it's very important to have those levels on your charts even if you're a day trader it is always important that you start your analysis on the four hour or on a daily time frame you're aware of those important levels look for the round numbers look for the trends look for trend lines look for the moving averages and they can really help you understand and build trading plans on a very deep level